the car you see here, the Tata Tiago EV, is a significant one. Not just because it's another Tata EV in the mainstream segment, but because prices start at 8.49 lakhs, which is well below the rupees 10 lakhs that car makers have been trying to breach for a while with EVs, so that this form of mobility can go truly mainstream. Now, in turning the standard Tiago into the Tiago EV, Tata Motors has done what it usually does with most of these conversions, and you get this new blanked out grille, what would have been the grille, and this new minimalist, much more simpler EV logo, which we think looks quite nice. Of course, the tri arrow motifs continue here, and the blue highlighting that separates Tata's EVs from the regular car, you can see that here too. And the Tiago, the standard one, always got projector headlamps, so that continue here as well. They're auto, and you also have auto wipers. And to top things off, you have these new, more funkier, snazzier, brighter, sort of EV-specific colour options as well. Now, changes to the side of the Tiago EV aren't all that significant, but you do get these hyper-style wheels, which are steel wheels disguised as alloys. We aren't a big fan of these, even in the Tigor EV, and that sort of continues here, although the design may be to some people's liking. Again, that simpler EV badge. And in this top XZ Plus Tech Lux version, you also get these contrasting black bits on the mirrors, on the roof and on the door handles. As for ground clearance, the Tiago EV has about 166 mm, which is 4 mm less than the 170 of the standard Tiago. So you don't lose too much in that regard as well. Now the only significant way that you can tell the EV apart from the standard Tiago from the rear is with this wide new badging, again in a more minimalistic sort of design. Aside from that, it's near identical to the standard Tiago. Now the Tiago EV can be had in two battery options. What Tata Motors calls medium range is a 19.2 kWh battery pack, good for a 250 km of accredited range. And you get about 61 PS and 104 Nm with that motor. But the larger battery pack, which we think will be the more useful one, is a 24 kWh battery pack, good for 315 km of range, which should translate into about 250 km in the real world. That makes 75 PS and 114 Nm. And that also gets you sport mode, which can get the Tiago EV from 0 to 60 in 5.7 seconds. So how do you tell the Tiago EV apart from the regular petrol Tiago? Well, it's the same changes that Tata Motors makes to all the cars it converts into electrics. So you have these blue highlights here around the AC vents, a black and off-whitish interior sort of color palette, leather at upholstery. And among the changes, the additions over the regular Tiago, first you have these selectable regen modes, you can choose between four modes. There are no paddles, but they're easily accessible through here, and you can see it on the screen as well. And you get this older style rotary dial, what came in the first Nexon is also in the Tigor EV, which we don't like as much, considering you don't have a park mode in it, and sort of selecting the gear has always been a bit fiddly. So maybe the one from the Nexon EV Max, that with the bright display, that would have been a good addition, but of course cost is a constraint here. Then another big change is that over and above the long list of features that the Tiago is known for, you also get cruise control and you get this different digital instrumentation. It's nice, It's in fact we like it more than the part digital one in the Nexon EV. It's more simple but it gives you a lot of information clearly. So you have the region modes up top, the battery level, the power and the region level, you know how much power you're using and so on. So it's a nice, clear instrumentation, like on the Tigor EV, that continues here as well. Now, the Tiago EV has always been popular because of the amount of features that Tata Motors crams into the small hatchback, and that stays true with the EV version as well. Like we just mentioned, you get even more features. As for what's been carried over, you get standard climate control, which is a good addition. You get this nice seven inch touchscreen. May not be the best touchscreen, but you still get eight speakers with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. You get a leatherette upholstery. You get projector headlamps. You get a height adjustable seat for the driver. You get, you get a powered adjustment for the mirror. So it's reasonably well equipped, quite well equipped for the segment it operates. In. Now to fit this 24 kilowatt hour battery pack into the Tiago EV, Tata Motors has split it into two parts, considering the smaller body shell it has to work with here. And that has led to some compromises, but not up to a level that you might expect. It's been quite neatly packed in. So, of course, the floor is a bit higher up than you would expect in the regular Tiago, which means you sit in a slightly knees up position. There's slightly less under thigh support because of that. And you also have this big central tunnel here, which also holds the battery cells. So, yes, space for the third passenger isn't what it used to be. 
but you have a comfortable seat back a nice angle to it fairly large windows a lot of knee room and head room so as a four seater at least the tiago ev still works perfectly fine now one of the compromises that tata motors has had to make to convert the tiago into the ev version that this is is in terms of boot space you get 240 liters and that's without the parcel shelf which means that longer road trips with all four passengers is going to be a bit difficult another drawback is that you don't get a spare wheel which isn't ideal for our conditions of course that's because the battery pack a part of it at least sits here underneath the floor where a spare wheel usually would be so it's fine for say a short hop around closer to town but a longer road trip packing luggage for four might be difficult with the tiago ev So we've gotten a very short drive in the Tiago EV, just around this hall that the car was launched in, and it's quite like what we expected it to be, at least in this very early impression. So you have that clean, very linear EV power delivery right off the line. It's not too brisk, it's not too sharp in the regular mode, and we're just going over this small speed breaker kind of thing, and you notice that there is that. low speed stiffness that you have in most EVs that's present here too of course we don't have any bumps or potholes here to see how it feels in a regular driving situation or at higher speeds but from this very early impression we can still gauge that the Tiago EV will be a nice urban runabout like most of these Tata EVs are now you can buy the Tiago EV with either a 3.3 kW AC wall box or is this 7.2 kilowatt ac fast charger now the other charging option that you get is dc fast charging now tata hasn't given an exact dc charging speed but since it takes 10% to 80% in about 57 minutes we expect it to be about 25 to 30 kilowatt the dc fast charging speed and also you can charge it from a 15 amp plug but of course that takes an extended amount of time Now the prices that have been announced for the Tiago EV they top out at 11.79 lakh they're introductory and valid for the first 10000 bookings and 2000 of those are reserved for previous Tata EV owners anyway bookings open October 10th and you can start getting deliveries of the Tiago EV from January 2023 but what do you think do you think Tata has got that correct mix of range features and specs in the Tiago EV to help make EVs go truly mainstream in India let us know in the comments